All right, pre-K, it's time for math games. In this math game, you're going to need 10 objects. They don't have to be all the same. They could be 10 different things. You could take some of the things from your collection of 20 if you still have it. I still had my collection of 20 coins, so I just picked up 10 quarters. So go ahead and grab 10 things and meet me back here. Hey, Pre-K, do you remember when we used to do snack math and we would figure out how many pieces of snack we were gonna have that day and then we would count it out on our fingers and we would figure out all of the different ways that we could make that number. Like if we were having three graham crackers for snack plus one cheese stick and one orange, how many pieces of snack is that? One, two, three, four, five. So we could show five by putting five fingers on one hand. What's another way we could show five? Yep, we could do four, one, two, three, four, and one more. So we have one, two, three, four, five. There's one more way. What if we put three fingers on this hand? How many more do we need? One, two, three, four, five. So we could also make five with three and two. So we're gonna use our collections of objects that you have made of the 20 things, but you only need 10 of them today. All right, so grab 10 objects and meet me back here. And we are going to figure out all of the different ways that we can make 10. All right, so I have my 10 quarters. Let's count them to make sure I have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Whew. All right, I've got my 10. And you're gonna need a piece of paper. I'm gonna move this off to the side. And on your piece of paper, I want you to draw a line down the middle. All right, so I'm gonna start with one. If I put one quarter on this side and I put all the rest over here, I wonder how many that makes. Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine and one is one way to make 10. Let's see if we can figure out another way to make 10. I'm just gonna slide some quarters over. All right, let's see how many we have on this side, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I'm gonna put a six. Huh, how many do I have on the other side? Four, one, two, three, four. Let's count and make sure we still have 10. So you're telling me that six and four is another way to make 10? Let's see, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No way. Whew. That is pretty cool. Here's what I want you to do see if you can figure out a new way to make ten and report back on Flipgrid and tell us what combination you have found that makes ten. Happy mathing.